Thank you, Matt, for this wonderful idea. Okay, guys, if you want to pause the video right now, you, you should come and bring your stuffy. And you can pause it right now or later to bring your stuffy. Hi, Henry. What do you want to do today? Maybe we should read. Maybe we make paper. Do you want to make paper? I hope that's a yes because I do. How to make paper. First step, get two pieces of paper your parents allow you to use. Then, get a shredder. And if your parents don't want you to shred the paper, and they want them to shred it for you, then let them do that. If you don't have a, have a shredder, you can cut it. Pretty finely. Shred or cut your paper. And after that, make sure it doesn't have any more power. you can make into big pieces of paper. The idea is to use some paper that you don't need anymore and make sure your parents allow you to use that paper. And then get, get a bowl that your parents are allowed to use and fill it up part way with water. And then you can put the shreds in the water and I'll show you that just right now. Okay, so I've been doing this for about 20 minutes and I've been just mixing it with my hands after I got it in, and it's now kind of getting like clayish. Like if you put your hand in there and clump it up, it will like hold its shape. But make sure it's all equally dispersed, and then I'll show you the next step. So later we will get some of this, and we'll put some cloth down. That make sure your parents allow you to get some of that cloth and use it. And you can also put some rags underneath it so it doesn't get your table all wet. And you can kind of like pat it down. So this looks some fun paper. I'm just scooping up some of this pulp and then I'm putting it down. Okay, so now I've got all this pulp down and then I can flip this over. Make sure your parents allow you to use the cloth that you are using. You can just make sure it's all, all nice and flat. And then you can flip it over and wait for it to dry a bit. And then you can maybe blow dry it or you can dry it in any way. Now I've just put this out in the sun. Oh, where is the sun? It's okay. <laughs> um, but it's really bright outside, hot, and this I just put on a towel so because mine's yellow and it might stain the concrete. So I can just check on it and feel if it's dry. And if it's not dry yet, I can just wait for it to be dry. This is what mine looks like after it's dry, and you can use this for whatever you want. Shama time! I'm pretty tired from all that paper making. Oh, oh he's asleep. <laughs> I guess I'll go to sleep. I wonder what his dreams are. Maybe, hmm. maybe they're about birds. <laughs> maybe there are other people who have dreams about birds. 
Birds are cute. I wonder if he had dreams about birds. I wonder what they would look like. Maybe they, they would look like this. Or maybe they're two little small hedgehogs. Or, I don't know. A, another bear. Grizzly bear. But maybe he's not so grizzly. Poems! I don't know. But I like to go to sleep with a poem. And I'm going to go to sleep right now. My friend wrote a poem. I'll read it to you right now. The poem talks about bird, about insects. And I think it's a cool poem. I'll read it to you right now. There are so many insects covering the earth, coloring the earth, conducting the earth's businesses, and the earth symphonies, which I hear now humming in in my ear, mosquito music, cicadas, listen, li listless little wings on an insectless insect, you will outlive us. And that is by, his first name is Matt, and last name Atwood, and he's a really fun guy. You should check him out. And also another, he also works at a library. And maybe this book will be at his library. But it's a fun poem book, and it's about night poems. And here it is. It's called Switching on the Moon. And I like that. And Matt's poem, I really think it's a cool poem. But anyway, night-night.